Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, I'm gonna do something I haven't done in quite some time, and do more of a commentary piece that I think is extremely relevant right now. Listen in as we discuss contest mode in Destiny 2 and my thoughts on it. Also, feel free to stop by on my Discord, which link is in the description of this video, if you wanna talk about it more, even if you disagree with me after you finish this video. So first off, if you aren't aware what contest mode is, it is what Bungie put in to cap power level and guardians for first 24 hours of a raid going live to make it more difficult. One of the primary reasons for this is our guardians continue to get more and more powerful in the game, and in some cases Bungie is making more approachable raids for newer players. To prevent people from literally walking through the raid on the first day in a few hours, this was put in place for the first 24 hours, and special rewards and recognition put in place for those who finish. Now to be clear, I am fully supportive of all of that. Finishing's world first should be a big deal. It should be celebrated. However, this has really ruined the day one experience for most Guardians. I know many will look at the stats that show how many more people clear first day now, and I get that. But those numbers are still a small number of the community. I will get to a proposed solution because I don't want this to just sound like whining. But first, I want to talk about the actual problem. I remember my first day experience from before the change. We watched the streams to see who got first, but more than anything, we enjoyed going there with our friends to learn the mechanics of the new rain blind, but keeping up with the race at the same time. I can remember spending a lot of time figuring out the mechanics in Spire Stars or Era Worlds or Leviathan, which were less about gunplay and more how to work as a fire team to finish a task. Now, at the same time, those raids were also a little boring because of that. To be honest with you, if I look back to Destiny 1, I always preferred Wrath of the Machine over... King's Fall, because Wrath of the Machine is more about gunplay, not that there isn't gunplay in King's Fall, and King's Fall is long and very mechanics-driven. That's why I always enjoyed it. In Destiny 2, I do appreciate now that they have brought in more gunplay, which was missing in some of the earlier raids. And I think they have a decent blend of those two together, which makes it interesting. But because of that, they put contest mode, which makes it very difficult to get very far on the first day. In fact, it will probably limit how many people dip in the future on the first day. I know I'm seriously considering skipping it, even though it's one of the great traditions that I love about the game. When we went to day one this time, I didn't have a perfect team, but I had a pretty good team. It was full of a lot of regular raiders who have done Destiny 1, Destiny 2 raids, so some pretty experienced people. But again, this channel is about part-time guardians, not full-time players, so it's not going to be your big-time streamers. So for my team, we got as far as Templar the first day, and it took a long time to get there. Many of my friends, who are decent raiders, not the elite again, and had multiple clears of multiple raids, had a hard time just getting through the front door, spent hours trying to do that. Now, our experience is we got through in an hour, which is still too long. But again, some people, again, that regularly raid, who are used to raiding, who understand mechanics, who are pretty good in a gunfight, couldn't even get past opening the front door. Yes, that's right. Past the opening door of the encounter. So instead of enjoying the actual mechanics of the raid, and learning, they spent hours just trying not to die, hide, while they open up three plates. Same went for Deepstone Crypt. I really enjoyed learning the mechanics of the first encounter, but it took way too long to finish, which limited the overall time we could spend on the next encounter, because again, we're not full time at this. We gotta fit this in with family and other things. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not looking for day one clear. That's not what this is about. I'm looking to enjoy as much of the content that we all paid for on the first day. And don't get me wrong. I understand that there are tiers in the community, and I don't mind that certain portions are catered to because the streamers, things like that, they make Bungie money, and they're also very skilled at the game, so I don't want to take anything away from them. But again, we all paid for content, so we should have options to be able to enjoy it besides just sitting on the sideline on the first day. Both of this year's raids became a DPS check during the first real boss encounter mechanics, both Atrax 1 and Templar. You could learn the mechanics as well as possible, but unless you had a perfect DPS setups, you couldn't get to the next encounter. Now, I appreciate, again, making this exclusive, but it's clear that this is less about actual skill in mechanics and how you play and design versus sheer force of will. The laughable difference in difficulty between Templar pre and post contest mode is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so I have that off my chest. How do we fix this? Something like contest mode is required to keep day one interesting. At the end of the day, that's what we want. That's what Bungie wants. That's what the community wants. A game to be exciting, to have a unique event that's celebrated across the internet. 
this should be a premier gaming event. So we should keep some form of contest mode, but let's make it configurable. So on the first day, you get a choice, like God mode in classic games where you can't get extra achievements if you use it. You can do contest mode and do all the achievements afterwards to get a day one clear, which by the way, that's a great addition because even if you manage to slog your way and get to the, the entire encounter, because they knew some people were going to do that, it separates the good and the great teams. But with that said, you can also choose not to do contest mode and you have no access to the extra achievements. Yes, that does mean that some teams may get ahead and reveal mechanics, but let's face it, most of those folks aren't streamers. Streamers want the accolades and the rewards. And based on the last two raid launches, it's not the mechanics that separate the great teams. It's literally a DPS check. It's the teams who can deal out DPS fast enough that get through those modes. Again, not because they're better at mechanics, but because they're better at optimizing their loadouts and getting the most DPS, which is a skill, granted. But again, learning the mechanics early because some people didn't have contest mode isn't going to help them. And if it does help them, it helps everyone equally because it's not like streamers don't have people checking the other streams. To add to this, keep contest mode as an option past 24 hours. Getting bored with the raid? Turn on contest mode for extra rewards. Maybe you have better loot drops like Grandmaster, but that would keep the raids fresh and farmable even after we power through power level. And with power level only going up 10 every season, this would help keep an edge of the content and people coming back to the well. Just look what Grandmaster and Dub Rewards have done for strikes in general. We need more things that we can perfect our build and understand an activity to get higher tier rewards, but we only get to that level by first having the content approachable by everyone. That brings more people in while keeping the hardcore crowd happy. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, get in my Discord community. Let's talk about it. And even if you didn't, if you disagree with this, get in my Discord. Let's talk about that. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the Tower.